Okay, hello, good evening to the Sawiana tribe. Welcome the final nine. Tonight, we will have another tribal council where nine will go down to eight. Um, so yes, we are now pretty much passing the halfway point of the game. So basically, congratulations, y'all made it halfway. And if you make it through tonight, you will make it past halfway through the game. So that is a big milestone. Of course, as usual, before we actually get to the voting part, I do have questions for all of you, so I'll get right into it. My first question tonight goes to the lovely immunity winner, Nick. Nick, congrats on an amazing immunity win. My first question for you is, how did you pull off spelling that word? Um, if I'm being completely 100% honest, um, you said we were gonna be at home, so I figured it was one of the two and I prepared for both. <laughs> <laughs> when you said we're going to be at home, I said, oh, it's the spelling beer we're putting on clothes. And I really hope we're not putting on clothes. I was like actually in tears be, like, talking to Megan during my challenge. Because I was like, if we, have put, if we have to put on clothes, I'm feeling sick. I, I just don't want to do this challenge. Like, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I don't want to do this. And Megan was like, well, you're right with one of them. It's the spelling bee. And I had all my stuff laid out. And I almost started like breaking down. But Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious is always my go-to word. Um, as a follow-up, Nick, um, do you feel like you needed that immunity win tonight? It was such a dominant win. Um, you know, you were obviously trying very hard to win it. And uh, the person with the next longest word was nowhere near as long as your word. So do you feel like you needed that immunity win tonight? I feel like you always need immunity. I feel like it's just an extra blanket of safety at least like in your mind mentally, because at the end of the day, like somebody is going home and Jester's felt this the past two rounds, like it wasn't him and it's not going to be me tonight. And sorry, there was a hair in my mouth. Um, <laughs> but I, I feel like you always need immunity. Yeah. Alrighty. And yes, like you mentioned, Nick, on the flip side, Jester, this is the first time since the merge that you have been vulnerable at Tribal Council. Um, does that scare you after having been immune for two rounds? Like, do you worry that you could be in danger um, since you had won the first two challenges? Maggie, I've been vulnerable since day one of this freaking game from OG day. Yeah, we have lose everything. OK, so this not this just not it. <laughs> I wish I'm gonna be on the other side so like if I win first two and then like I don't go to tribal then yeah but anyways um I'm so nervous of course that just always comes to your mind like let's see like we have like um Mike Holloway we have like Joe we have Ozzy after they lost immunity they getting targeted so I was like why i even tell myself why you just win for two times like you're such a b okay i'm gonna i'm gonna like say a bitch but you know but <laughs> yes it's like you know, it's like i don't want this kind of necklace in my freaking thing it's already twice and it's and it's and it's bad it's twice in a row so that just gives me okay i could be a target my name could come up so i'm always aware of that because in the real world of real world survival, if we're challenged, threat, you're going home right away. So that's just like always my thinking. All righty, moving on to the next person. I have a question for Sam. Uh, Sam, in Survivor, people often say that odd numbered rounds are a good time to make a big move because there's less chance for a tie. Do you think that anybody on the tribe is following that mentality and that there could be a big move pulled tonight? And why or why not? I hope not, just because I'm feeling very stressed, just with, in general with everything going on in life. And I could do with a chilled out, nice evening where I don't have to stress or cry. So, um, no, I really, I really hope not. Um, as far as I'm aware, no. But, um, yeah, that's why not. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on to Brian. Uh, Brian, from this point of the game on, what do you need to do to make yourself stand out um, and this is also just general for anybody, but what do people do at this point to make themselves stand out and start building a resume to get that win? I'm the worst person to ask this question to because I don't believe in standing out. <laughs> I believe in remaining seated, keeping your pearls clutched and just watching things. But to be honest though, like 
I don't know if you want to stand out and that's the game that you want to take, then start making big moves, start breaking those promises, girl, <laughs> start playing a villainous game. That's what people see as standing out. But to me, it's just, it's not my gameplay. I'm more of the person who really likes to like stay in one course and then sit on information and be okay with it. Like that's just generally who I am. Alrighty, very interesting. Different strategies going around. Uh, next question is for Derek. Derek, I promise this isn't about jury management. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unless you want one about jury management. No, I, can, I mean, you can give me whatever you got. <laughs> I could ask you what the definition of jury management is. Um, <laughs> Ooh, that would be a hard one. <laughs> uh, but yes, Derek, um, with having a near or almost unanimous vote at the last tribal council, do you think it was a case of just everybody coming together to collectively decide who needs to go? Or do you think it was just because that was the easy vote? Um, and do you think we'll continue to see these almost consensus votes? I think that is a very difficult question, but the best way I guess that I could answer it really is that we all have our own ideas of what we think is the best move. We all have our own game plan of getting to the end. I think it's just a matter of how much your plan matches up with another person and another person beyond that. Um, and I think that maybe these consensus votes, it doesn't really answer your question. Maybe it attributes to that. Um, but at the same time, consensus votes, you don't get a lot of blood on your hands. Everybody's pretty much voting out one person. Um, so it definitely could be a continuing theme. All righty, thank you. Next, I have something for Stoner. Stoner, as the number of people starts dwindling in this game, your chances of getting voted out increase. So how do you handle like the paranoia and the fear of potentially joining the jury, you know, as the numbers get smaller and that chance gets higher? Um, well, this is probably a bad answer, but I actually don't. Um, I think if you get paranoid, if you let the idea of getting voted out, take over then you're gonna get voted out um I, I think that's the last thing you gotta worry about i'll worry about that when i get voted out i've made a lot of good friends in this game a lot of good connections and allies um i trust people that i'm with and i hope i'm not getting the boot tonight but if i am i'll worry about that tonight um until i'm voted out there's no need to stress about the what ifs um i think when you start playing paranoid you start fucking up and i try to avoid being paranoid if, if i can I know that's not the answer you wanted to, but I, I try to avoid being paranoid. <laughs> hey, the answer that I want is the answer that you all give me, okay? That's bullshit. If I put the one word answer and you just completely ignore my question, then I'm going to be pissed off and tell you to say more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, my next question is for CJ. Um, so CJ, at this point, are you basing your votes more off who you can trust or who you think you can beat in the end? And do you think those two things go hand in hand at all? Um, that's a really good question. Um, I think when we get to this point in the game, um, I think jury management is very important. Um, so the people that have been saying that they are loyal to you from the beginning, um, I guess this will be the time for, for all that talking to be backed up. Uh, I don't feel like it's a, I don't feel like it's an easy vote. Uh, every any time, um, so, I mean, me personally, I, I don't, I don't look for the easy way out. So, um, I think a lot of players play like that. They want to take the weakest person to the end to guarantee a win. But I'm the, I'm complete opposite. Uh, which I've only been to the end of two Big Brother games. I've never been to the end of Survivor game. But, um, I mean, I took the two strongest players in the game when I went. So, uh, no, I don't I don't play that cowardly, cowardly way out of trying to take the weakest link just to guarantee a win. Uh, if I was to make it that far, I would want it to be someone at good – someone good or if not better um just because i feel like that would make a better ending to this season and i mean it's been a great season so far but uh what was your other question 
Um, do you think those two things go hand in hand? So like, do you think that the same people you can trust are the same people that you can go to the end with? Um, or do you think sometimes those are different people? Uh, I mean, you know, in a survivor, like, you know, sometimes you, you, you do make uh, strong connections and, and you work with people. Um, but at the end of the day, like, you know, there's only one winner, uh, obviously, but, you know, if at this point in the game, I get this is going to be the time when loyalty is completely shown in my eyes. Um, and that's why I bring up jury management because I don't, I don't vote bitter, but I don't like a liar either. So, um, so anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Awesome, thank you. Uh, next up is Kelly. Uh, so Kelly, next round is the last round that somebody can visit the Oasis. Do you think that there are still advantages that can be claimed at the Oasis when we still haven't seen anything get played yet at all this game? I mean, like, um, like we're not sure, like at least I'm not sure that if like it's an advantage it's maybe an idol we don't know like if josh had something maybe he could have well maybe you could have like put it in again so how many people have gone to oasis after josh got put it off like two yeah so i i think people had a chance but if it's the same thing that I had to do when I went it's really hard it's like the idol guess so it's really hard it's possible but I can't say for sure that that's something it's out there all righty thank you and then last but certainly not least I have a question for Miss Kennedy uh, Kennedy, kind of similar to my question for Stoner earlier, but in a different vein. So as the numbers dwindle, the chances of you having to vote out an ally or someone that you've worked with also get higher. Um, so how do you kind of, I guess, resolve that dissonance within yourself of, you know, I might have to eventually vote out someone I like or someone that I've worked with if it helps further my game. Um, and how do you also, I guess, um, express that to them as jury members? Yeah, um, I think that, sorry, I'm going to talk a little bit quieter than normal. I know everyone's like, what? She's not yelling. Um, Ben's sleeping out there. So You're good. I'm trying to be respectful. Um, I think that the best jury management happens before you're just going to vote somebody out. If you're scrambling and being like, oh my gosh, like, just so you know, like, I really loved you while you were here. And then you vote somebody out. It really shows that you didn't really care about the player beforehand. And you're just trying to get that jury vote. Um, the people that I work with, the people that I am close to, um, I would assume if I haven't made it clear, obviously I would work to do so. Um, but at some point in this game, everybody but two people, maybe three, have to get voted out. Um, if I respect you enough to work with you, if I respect you enough to, to talk to you and everyone in this game, I have at least messaged once. Um, if I'm working closely with you, you know that at some point we might have to go after each other. It's a respect thing. It's, it's, it is what it is. Only a certain amount of people can get to the end. Not everybody can take everybody they're working with. So my thing is, I don't want to make anything personal. Um, I try to be really straightforward and really upfront with things. Obviously, today was not the best day to talk to me. Um, but it's really, if I'm going to go after an ally, they know that it's because I had to do it for my game or they were a bigger threat than me. It's never a cheap shot. It's never, I'm going to hit you when you're down. It's, I did what I had to do in the game. And if I'm working with you, you know that, and you know it's out of respect rather than just, huh, I don't need you anymore because that's kind of shitty. So there's always a reason why you do what you do. Thank you, Kennedy. I do have a quick follow-up question for you, Kennedy. Um, how are you feeling? Um, not great. Um, I actually fell right here oh, and no. I hit my head on this floor. Um, and then I was trying to get up and I hit my head on the bathtub. Um, but like not hard enough to like knock me out. Well, like Ben said I was out for a couple minutes, but I don't think I was, I don't know. I have head injuries. So like I can normally kind of gauge myself and tell if I need to go in. So it was just a matter of like resting for a couple hours. Um, I ran to Target and got whatever I needed. I was able to book a flight home just for anybody who was worried. 
Um, I wasn't able to get a car. We were able to book a flight home. It was a thousand dollars. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm, Which is terrifying. Car was not supposed to be that expensive, but you know what? I'm getting home safe. So it is what it is. Um, But yes, I am okay. Ben and I are okay. We don't know updates on like borders and things, but for right now we are both safe and I should be home in 24 hours, less than 24 hours. So Awesome. Good to hear. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for answering that. And I yeah, think your head looks no better and it doesn't get yes, bigger. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. So that is all the questions I had for everyone. Does anyone else have anything that they, they'd like to say, add, bring up, talk about, call anyone out, any of that jazz? I'll give you all a couple moments for that. Megan, you're hot. Oh, well, thank you. Um, anything else? Um, Jeremy, you're hot. Oh, Jeremy's not. Jeremy, a you're bad. also hot. Anything game related that anyone wants to say? <laughs> okay, then uh, we will get to the votes uh, since it is just me here again tonight, which is kind of rotted considering like all of y'all left on the tribe have been here, both tribal councils that it's been just me and the rest of Prod is missing out on this fun. Um, but anyway, since it is just me tonight, I will do the whole confirm your vote and your Prod chat thing um, to make it go a little faster. I'll do three people at a time. Um, so the first three people that I want to just go in your prod chat and confirm who you're voting for are Stoner, Jester, and Sam. And then once I get those three, I'll have the next three go. I was going to be like, Megan, doesn't it make more sense if somebody speaks up and is like, I'd like to change my vote because it's faster, but then you're really obviously changing your vote at the last second. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, wait, maybe we shouldn't do that. <sighs> Oh my gosh, I need to calm down. Okay, sorry. That was a little loud. All righty, I have those three. So the next three to confirm their votes will be Nick, CJ, and Derek. It's not showing a breakout room. Oh, just go in your prod chat, CJ, um, and just type in there like that you confirm your pre-vote from earlier, or if you want to change it, just type in who you're voting in your prod chat. All righty, perfect. And then the last three um, to confirm their prod chats, I need Kelly, Brian, and Kennedy. Alrighty, I have the votes. Give me just a moment to tally them up and I will be right back. Uh, feel free to give shout outs and talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Jabbar and say fuck you, Jay. Um, shout out to Zach, Papa, Drizzy Q, Justin, Hot Girl Chris, who was also on Prod, um, Jackie, Mac, and Jeremy. And Sean. Um, I I have a question for everyone who's traveled. Um, Nick, I will be... Nick why, why do you shout out so many people that don't like you? Not the stoner. <laughs> um, I'm stoner. I'm sorry. Kennedy was saying something anyways. Oh. <laughs> okay. I just want to preface this with, I know I make a lot of jokes, um, but like, this is a genuine question and you can laugh at me like it's okay, but I am looking for an answer because it's not going to seem like I am. I have something that I need to get on a plane and I just, hang on. I know I, again, this is a genuine question. I make a lot of jokes, but I'm being completely serious with this. Um, oh no, I have to find it. I oh, hope it's like a panda or something. I feel like this is a stoner question. Is, 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 is it a weed pen? I know I've done that before. <laughs> is it? It's, no, it's not. I'm not a weed. I can't. Oh, me it. yelling. Don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up. Is it a baggie of cocaine? No, it's going to make me look really suspicious. Okay, so genuine question. How do I. <laughs> So it's a shovel. It's okay. It's small. It's just small. put it in your suitcase. Are they gonna be like? You, I you mean, could maybe like wrap it up. If, yes, if you Kennedy. Tuck it, 
they're just they're gonna see it anyways i don't think they're yeah gonna yeah questions. it's they may look but it's what are you gonna hit somebody with like it? am i gonna lose my shovel <laughs> no you're not you're allowed to do it so. as a check in baggage you would okay. have to check it in as a baggage they would let me to go wrap back it. For it. guys i'm using the bathroom so i'm gonna go okay. mute and off video Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just I looked like it up. Really and all thing. tools longer than seven inches are prohibited. Uh, prohibited in carry-on baggage, so you can put it on a suitcase. Oh, I can check it out. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. to... okay. <laughs> my friend, so he thought we were driving, and this is like his prized shovel that he like loves. And he thought we were driving, so he's like, "Well, if you get in snow, um, you need this." And then we couldn't <laughs> get the car, and so I'm like, "Oh no, I can't." I can't like throw it in the, in the woods. Like, so I'm gonna try to bring it home so that I still at least have it so that he knows that I have it. I just, I didn't want the airport security people to be like, hey, and like beat me with my own shovel. So, okay, thank you. Also, isn't it I sad it that- in a suitcase. It's sad that it says you can only carry on things that are like seven inches or less. I'm like, are you kidding? Oh my god! No, not not <laughs> not like... that one. I'm actually oh, talking wow. about. Wow! Wow! <laughs> so many people aren't allowed to fly then. <laughs> how? I don't know how I'm gonna fly, guys. See, I can make that. <laughs> I can make that joke. Um, is this? I feel like even this part is like more than seven be... inches. Yes. It is. I'm gonna still have to check me in. <laughs> in that case, I'm gonna have to be checked in. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! See, okay. I was thinking. Yeah, that was all I had. I wasn't thinking like the actual person. I was thinking of like something somebody would bring on that would be around seven inches. <laughs> but that see- our minds work, I guess. <laughs> ben, are you okay? Hey, hey, hey. Are you okay? Oh okay. You, you're good? What'd you knock over? Okay. You all right? Okay. Aww. I love you. I'm in tribal, so I'm going to be in the bath. Okay? No, don't choke. Hey, hey, hey. Drink slower. Drink slower. Drink slower. I know you need Is water, but ben? if you drink too fast, you're going to get sick. Is that Ben? Okay. Ben, I love you. I love you, Ben. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> says that they love you. <laughs> love you too. It's like 8.30. It's okay. I went to Target and I got everything you needed, so you can just rest. Okay. Get some sleep. I love you. No, oh, lay on the bed. No, no. Ben, I love you Sorry. more than Nick and Kennedy combined. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> I heard a loud noise and I had to make sure he was okay. Um, do you guys want to see what I bought at the thrift store? Yes. Okay. So I don't know where it is, but I got a VHS of the first Pokemon movie, like with Mewtwo and Mew. Oh yes. Uh-huh. And then I got Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, yes, that's a good one. I have a question. Yes. Do you have a VHS player? No, I have to buy one. <laughs> I need to buy that? But like, this is so good. Yeah, at thrift stores. They're like four bucks. But I figured I might as well just get a VHS player like in Minnesota rather than try to ship one. Um, and then I don't know what's on this, so I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hello. I know you're all having a lovely Hi. conversation right now, but oh, I'm back um, and I have the votes. So I'm going to have to break up whatever your talk is um, and we're going to get to the votes. But before I read the votes, if anybody has an idol or an advantage that they would like to play, now would be the time to do so. All righty, um, nothing played, then I will get to the votes. Once the votes are read, the person voted out. We'll have a few moments to give their final words and we'll then have to leave the Zoom call immediately. The first vote is for Kennedy. The second vote is for Kelly. That is one vote for Kennedy, one vote for Kelly. Next vote is for Kennedy. That's two votes, Kennedy. The fourth vote is for Kelly. That is two votes for Kennedy, two votes for Kelly. The fifth vote is for CJ. That's one vote, CJ. The next vote 
is for CJ. We are now tied. Two votes for Kennedy, two votes for Kelly, two votes for CJ, three votes remaining. The next vote is for CJ. That is three votes CJ, two votes Kennedy, two votes Kelly. The eighth vote and the next person voted out of Triumph Sahara is CJ. CJ, that is four. Tonight, that is enough. You will be the third member of the jury. Um, feel free to give any final words now. Um, well, I didn't have an auto. Um, or I would have played it tonight, obviously. Um, you guys are awesome. Production, love the game. Uh, kind of saw it coming. Um, and the only person I really respect in this game is Stoner, um, because I know he was 100% honest the whole time. Um, I started seeing it the last couple of days, the fakeness and the lies. Um, and like I was said earlier in my uh, original chat, that it was going to be, uh, I could tell um, when I started talking about using an auto that they were scrambling a little bit um, and acting weird. So, uh, but yeah, um, jury management is super important. And obviously they were all liars. Um, except for Stoner. So, I mean, I usually am not a bitter juror, but I like to play the honest game, and they're a bunch of liars. So I can't wait. And hopefully, uh, last thing is, so everybody knows, I was the one that – I was the one that was responsible for Josh leaving. I was the one that was – I made that move. So if anybody tries to claim it in jury, don't try, because that was my move, 1,000%. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to be in jury, and I'll just let them, whoever knows gets to the end, don't try to claim that move because that wasn't going to happen if I didn't bring it up. So I'm the one that put the votes on it but because uh, I knew he had idols and he was a big threat, so I knew he had to go. But um, definitely not shocked. Saw it coming. Told Stoner um, it was coming. Should have played. Should have played something, but – if I had something, I would have, but I didn't. So uh, good luck to the re uh, Stoner and the rest of you guys. Um, I, I don't know. You guys are a bunch of liars, so that's all I can really say. Thank you, CJ. All righty, CJ. Um, thank you so much for playing Triumph. Proud was so happy to have you this season. Um, but unfortunately, the tribe has spoken. You will join the jury where you will um, hang out with Josh and Stevie and then come back on finale night where you will cast your vote for the winner. You can leave the Zoom call now. All right, thanks. Thank you. If anyone wants to call, I would love to call. Oh, fuck. All right, yeah, if that nine has turned into eight. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you're good, Megan. You're proud. I was just going to say if someone wants to tell me what happened and like how I got two votes, because I was expecting some, I was told do this or you're probably going home. So I, I did what I did I, to keep myself here. I'll be honest, I voted for Kelly. No offense, Kelly. I did vote. I did write your name down. Um, I'm going to be honest, I, I didn't. Um, I know that I was probably told to, but I was very obviously told if you vote Kelly, you're going home. And I thought that was the case when I saw my, my votes. So I was trying to save myself. So again, if you're upset with how you voted, I'm sorry, but I, I do what I gotta do to keep myself here. So. I'm not upset. I'm not upset anybody. I'm glad, I, I'm glad, I'm glad it wasn't me. <laughs> I was close to going home, apparently. <laughs> All righty, congrats, final eight. Um, your next challenge will be posted later tonight. Um, uh. With that, head back to camp.